More insane and out of nowhere violence to tell you about. This time, a man arrested for last night's random attack at a Whole food store in Midtown Manhattan. Michael Howell, now charged with assaulting two people inside and outside that store, hitting them in the head with a bottle. Did he say Harlem? Because this is the in Midtown guy. Manhattan. Oh, no, I go to the one in Harlem when I'm in New York. Or in Midtown Manhattan. Okay. Michael Howell, now charged with assaulting two people inside and outside that store, hitting them in the head with a bottle. He's also charged with hitting a woman in the head with a bottle on the D train near the supermarket. And it turns out Mr. Howell was also charged back in August with punching a subway rider. Here's Iowa News reporter Darla Miles. I think it's in Whole Foods, man. Who you think he was hitting upside the head with bottles? <laughs> So, so 12 months from now, Whole Foods in Midtown Manhattan abruptly closing <laughs> due to uh, theft and violence. So staff safety, a top concern. If gliders ain't safe in Whole Foods now, it's, it's over. They, they are not safe anywhere. That's their last line of defense right there. That's been breached. Yeah, that's their... Yeah, and when I go to Whole Foods, man, it, it is it is comforting to just see like it's so laid out, it's so clean, the aisles are stocked so perfectly. Um, the food court uh, where, where, where you get the um, hot fresh food is, is everything. The, even the way they do checkout, it's like so like trusting. You know what I'm saying? Like they trust you and shit there. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like they they they. they, they <laughs> Yeah, it's, just, it's, just, it's clean. It's like everything is fresh. The like deli, the I was uh, I was in an Aldi a while back, and I came out to the parking lot. And this sun teen was out there with his hoodie on, just prowling around, looking, looking at shit, looking at cars. I had my eye on him the whole time, but I was thinking, like, God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, man, he wasn't afraid of the cops coming and you know killing him on no shit like that. No, uh, certainly didn't seem to appear that way. <laughs> there's an Aldi. There's an Aldi right next to my house. I've never been to an Aldi. To me, it just looks like a, a Donald Dollar General. I mean, is it worth going into? Yeah, it's it's, it's very good. I, they have like they have brands that you won't see anywhere else. And they have like you're gonna go in there and you're gonna buy something that you didn't plan on buying when you went in there. I'll you know, check it, it out. It makes you shop like a girl. <laughs> I think it's important for people to understand through stories, through my story and other people who are victims of this, that this is happening in the city. Damn, yo! And you would see him, and you wouldn't think like you don't see like you know vagrant or nothing like that. He looks like a normal son, man. A little wily eyed, but you know, just a normal son, man. You wouldn't think he would be busting ladies, busting chicks upside the head with bottles. And other people who are victims of this, that this is happening in the city. 33 year old Michael Howell looking bewildered, leaving the Midtown South Precinct Friday morning. He's accused of grabbing three different bottles and hitting them over the head of three different people police <laughs> Damn. okay so we got an idea of what <laughs> God, dog. people police say the attacks were random but for the victims it's very personal and in that moment i just remember let go let go and when i said that i knew in my mind that i had to prepare to die eyewitness news spoke exclusively <laughs> hey man she was preparing to die at a Whole Foods. That's fucked You up. don't have to live like this either. That's the worst part of this, man, for me, man. Gliders don't have to live like this. You could fix this tomorrow. Y'all could fix this tomorrow if you wanted to. Yeah, I think uh, the only thing that's uh, holding us back from a regular good civilization is um, uh, the glider liberals. If they actually start turning, I think we can get somewhere. But I don't know what's going to make them 
get to that turning point. Nothing has so far. There's no power in that, though. Their power lies in black and brown coalitions and minorities and um, marginalized groups. That's where their power lies. And even if it's not just their votes, it's the virtue signaling and the excuse. Like everything they do, they like kind of like, well, we're doing this for them. You know what I'm saying? Or we're doing this with them in mind. So it's like, I don't see any way where they where they where where they can retain power by you know yeah it, 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 if somehow we can get them to drop their sense of first moral superiority and also sort of racial superiority if we can get them to drop that um it could turn around but i don't know how that's the problem Exclusively to the 49-year-old woman who was on the second floor of the Whole Foods at 6th Avenue and West 43rd Street Thursday evening when she was hit in the back of the head. We've agreed not to disclose her identity out of safety concerns. I'm getting some stuff to go see a screening and I'm looking at the woman who's about to give me some, you know, uh, serve me some food and I see her eyes and her eyes look like death. She had to get a staple and... <laughs> The angel, the angel of death, was upon her. Imagine if you're like, you're like, you're like getting some food and shit from like one of those little stands and Whole Foods and shit, and the person's just like, like you could at least say, "Watch out" or something like that. Like you, could at least, you could at least said, "Like duck," like damn man, you just let yeah. it get hit. Who would ever thought the angel of death would come with a Hennessy bottle in his hand? To right. smack you over the head. I'm getting some stuff to go see a screening, and I'm looking at the woman who's about to give me some, you know, uh, serve me some food, and I see her eyes, and her eyes look like death. She had to get a staple in her head, her ear glued back together, and minor cuts all over her body from the shards of glass. You know, I remembered a lot of love around me, a lot of hands around me. I remember being very scared. I remember thinking that my face might be gone i might have i might die because i knew it was in my head i remember trying to to, to tell myself that this might you might bleed out police say first howell grabbed a bottle hitting a 23 year old man in the head outside of the store around 6 30 p.m then just a few minutes later inside and in that moment when it happened i, I felt this is a really i think I didn't think for a minute that a man had done it. I didn't think that someone had, because I didn't see it coming. I just, you know, you, you don't think of, of who has a gun in the shooting. You, you're just thinking that I've been shot. So in my mind, I'm thinking either the chandelier hit me or I had been shot. An hour later, police say Howell hit another woman in the head, this time a 55-year-old on a northbound D train near West 46th Street. And say Yo, he, he's just like, He's just walking around playing whack-a-mole. <laughs> Man, how do we know he didn't he didn't target Whole Foods and this is not a hate crime? I wouldn't be surprised if this was a hate crime. Yeah, of course. It's, 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 that won't even be broached, though. They, they won't even consider it. So it's like this. It's not even on the table. That conversation is not on the table. Yeah, he's he's um he's he's just living his life, man. I mean, listen, man, freedom, man. You talk about freedom, you talk about like not being oppressed, not being marginalized. He's just going around doing whatever he wants to do, man. Bound D train near West 46th Street and 6th Avenue. And while he was arrested nearby. For the 43-year-old victim, an arrest does not solve the problem. Yeah, he looks he looks terrified in those handcuffs of the, from the cops. He just looks so terrified like he's about to die any second. Ridiculous. 